what's up everybody uh, welcome to another video tutorial on myp beats and today i'm going to run through um, a pop beat i'm working at the moment just something i was just chilling around on splice and uh, yeah before anything don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah let's just get on with it so as usual we start with the beats i'm just gonna uh, play it for a couple of minutes um, show you the sections then we break it down let's go Sorry about that. Um, yeah, that, that's mainly the beat, uh, instrumental. Um, still a work in progress at the moment. Um, so a few bits I need to work on, but I think this is the backbone for everything, okay? So uh, without further ado, let's just get on with it. So how did I come about this um, instrumental? Well, we need to thank this sample from Splice, actually. Um, if you don't know what is Splice, Splice you go here, um, let's give it a second, and um, it's an app, uh, well, the website would happen to have an app, and uh, you just choose whatever sample you wanted. And uh, the sample I chose was this. I'm gonna show you through the gar garage band anyway. And it's this, you've heard it, but I'm just gonna play it for the sake of this video. Ew. And be together, we could be anything, anything. So when I heard this, I'm like, yeah, this is it. I can work with this. And um, as usual, I um, imported it or saved it into my device. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do that, uh, just go to my channel and um, and you you find a video tutorial that explains how to actually do this and import samples, any samples really. Or in this case, splice samples into your DAW. It could be BeatMaker 3, FL Studio Mobile, Cubasis, whatever. And save, this in, save it into your iPad or any iOS device. Yeah, I think it's only iPad. And uh, you can just, you know, come start working on it directly. Okay? Just like any samples, I downloaded it. And when you download it on GarageBand, it goes into your files. Um, so um, this, this, the, the sample arrives, you know, appears here. So after I got that, uh, before starting any project on GarageBand particularly, you need to set the tempo. So uh, I just copied the tempo from uh, the Splice uh, app or the website is uh, 1110. So that was easy. Just match the tempo before importing into the into the actual project because a GarageBand is not very good at changing things afterwards. Um, I always work in a four, uh, four force time signature. Um, copy the um, key signature of the of the instrumental beat, whatever you want. But you're not forced to do it. But I normally try to like to play safe, and this is very important uh, in Garage Band. You need to match exactly what the sample is all about. But again, there's another video for that. If you want to go through my channel for that, once that was ready. You just have to drag uh, the sample from here and drop, and that's it. Nothing more than that. And once you're done, 
you're good to go. Garage band is very straightforward, very easy to do this kind of stuff anyway. So I've got that song going on in my head, going, you know, just playing with it. Then afterwards, I just put in some chords um, on this synth. Uh, it's called Black Diamond Synth on Garage Band. And you can find it um, if you go to um, Alchemy Synth, uh, Lead, and Black Diamond. Obviously, you can use any instruments, but the, the Alchemy uh, Synths seem to have some really doped uh, synths, really. You know, just you know, play with it and do whatever you need to do. Then I just laid out these chords. Um, let me see if I can go into it. Uh, just give me a second. Where is it? Yeah, I think the chords um, A. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, those are the chords I used. Um, but just mess around uh, with it. As I always uh, advise you guys, always use the if you want to. If you if you got a keyboard. Mm, that's another story, but if, if if you like to use the touch screen to use whatever you, you whatever you want, to just make sure you try to match this key, um, match the scale. I would say, and you you can choose any one you want, but I like to play safe. Use the first one that comes at the battle. It, most of the times, it matches the, the key signature. So you know whatever chords, whatever notes you you you, you press, uh, it should be okay generally. I think it was just like. So. So I like the, it's, like, it's got like a pitch ability by itself and I just wanted something that goes very well with uh, with the main vocals. I don't want to stretch this video too long so um, let's just get on with it and uh, just play it. So after I got that, you know, I was feeling the beat. Obviously, I had this to help me with the tempo. You and me it's very important to have a good tempo with it. Then afterwards, I just said, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm just uh, duplicate it. So you just kind of like duplicate this. And it gives you the same thing. So you don't have to bother and look for it again. It's just to make your workflow a bit quicker. And uh, duplicated it. And I just wanted to add something to make it a bit more um, interesting. So I added, it's the same instrument, just an extra uh, layer of it. You and me together, we could be anything, anything. So uh, nothing special really. It's just, uh, let me just play it by itself. It's just kind of like, doesn't make sense but it flows very well with uh, with what I was working with then after I had these three components working um, I, I was thinking yeah I, I wanted to put the kick and the snare but I kind of like hold up a little bit because I wanted things to kind of like all be ready before I really committed to making the kick and the snare okay so I just went into the upper loops and um, it's really good if you know what you're looking for and I had a search for what did I search for? Um, it's it's just an effect, but I can't remember the name. It's like a roll up, uh, rolled up tight reverse effect. What the heck is that? I don't know, but I think it should be on my favorites. Just give me a second. Roll up tight. Anyway, if you just want uh, an effect, just uh, or whatever you're looking for. Um, don't forget to check out the Apple Loops, and uh, um, you normally find some really decent uh, um, effect. Okay, so go with that, and this is what I, I chose. Let's just mute the other ones. It's like a <laughs> I don't even know what they would call it. It's just like it sucks back thing, everything up. I don't know. Um, so that was um, everything kind of like working together. So at this point, I had um, these four uh, song, this kind of like four uh, instrument um, going in a ball, you know, repeating four bar loop. So 
that point I knew I had like an intro to work with okay and once that is gone done I generally um, go to this go to this plus sign and um, just duplicate my section in this case it will be section A and you just press duplicate and it kind of like copies it to the next section and next section you can just go as much as you want to so I had kind of like a bit longer bar to work with at this point then um, I just started to set to myself you know oh, again what what if I just put uh, laid some uh, uh, some keyboard you know I'm a keyboard kind of guy I'm not really but I like my uh, piano in my song so I went with this let's just mute everything else okay. yeah yeah Nothing special, I just used. Nothing special, just A minor, E minor. Make sure they're slightly one on top of the other, like slightly above scale, octave, sorry. And that's it. And the only thing I added was um, a bit of echo and reverb. And it's slightly bit, bit more bassy. I just wanted to give it a slight humph, hum, nothing more than that don't be playing around too much you want to keep your instrument as natural as you can okay so i got that going on um kind of like in the bar going on just feeling it then uh, what i did um i pasted the same chords um into a, an e piano so the simplest way you just duplicate it after you duplicate it you double tap it or yeah double tap it and you just, just choose electric piano from here okay and once you've done that uh, once you've duplicated it um you just copy and paste it in the same way so uh, actually i'll just show you uh let's just let's just take for example this one uh duplicate you select it uh you can press uh copy and um you put make sure it's the right is center to the right po point um and you just select the the next instrument and uh, that's it yeah well i kind of like copy the whole thing but you can at this point once you've got that you can mess around with any instrument you don't have nothing to worry about you can use any instrument you want and you're good to go and um, ideally what i do when i kind of like have the same notes um uh, you tend to kind of like pan it to the left or to the right just to make sure you cover everything but you know i'm not i'm not that specific but you know if you want to make it properly you, you might want to go through that uh phase Anyway, I don't want to overcomplicate this video, and that's just basically the it with the with the piano. It's slightly diff slightly different, but it's the, it's, it's the same chords. Um, so let's just play with the keyboard. It looks very confusing at this point, uh, but it's just the same chord. It's just one is starts slightly earlier than the other no difference whatsoever okay once i got that uh, sorted again i'm still holding off on my kick and the snare do you want to involve myself don't get too committed don't get, fall in love for your beat until you're ready for it um then i went to the move uh, and i went to the next thing which was this beautiful instrument Love it, very, oof, fantastic, and this is the planetary uh, eclipse, which is uh, in the synth pad. Not in the alchemy synth; it's just in the main uh, keyboard uh, section. So very simple to find, nothing too complicated. And I didn't do anything, didn't edit none of that. And uh, let's see if I put, uh, yeah, I messed around with the bass, uh, the echo and reverb, just to give it, oof, the sauciness. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. I think it was just. Nothing difficult, really. And that's the, that's the point of Garage Band. Uh, you can do some really good things without really, without really doing much, really. Okay. And uh, I had that laid out. And um, the next thing I, I started working on was the. It's like a rising reverse vocal. I'll just play it. 
that's it and then that is again uh, one of the um, uh, what's it called apple loops i don't know which one is it is it this one oh that's it so it's the remix uh, reverse vocal effect but you can use any vocal effects you want to just type whatever you're interested in okay and you just drag and drop okay at this point um I decided to chop the vocal, okay? Garage Band is not the best for chopping vocals, but you can make it work, okay? If you guys want to see a video how to um, edit a sample, uh, uh, chop vocals, well, chop vocals, or yeah, sampling in Garage Band, I can show you quickly. I'm sure there's other videos, but I like to play with with vocal, with um, sample the way I like it for my track, and it, it may be different for everybody, but that's what I use, okay? Um, and this this is basically what I did from the from the main um, vocal of the song in the beginning, which is this. And that's it. So basically, as you can see, it's all in the in the screen, and you just choose the one you want. Make it, make sure it's the same uh, scale, and just play around with it. Just a quick note, uh, when you, you're using a sample, you're trying to use uh, different notes of it, or octaves of it. Um, the higher you go, the, the quicker the, the, the sample gets. That's just how it is, you know. Nothing you can do about that. Okay? Okay, so I'd, at this point, my song was coming together. And then I decided to go with the... Um, what's it called? With the, I decided to go at this point with the kick and uh and the snare and um so this was the basic kick is it like an 808 kick uh from um what is this from the 808 flex from uh, flex and flow pack yeah and it just be your basic kick kick really well 808 kick exciting i'm not very good with kicks and snares i just that's just not my thing um but yeah that was it and i just decided to add a bit more strength to it you know and by adding uh, a bit crusher a bit crusher but i think that was already in and i added an overdrive which is uh, this one it's just an extra effect give it more uh presence okay but once you do that you need to reduce the volume a little bit it's just too much going on and that's it that's what i normally do to my kicks and a snare well not mainly kick sorry not snare sometimes but not all the time and i added a snare it's just a simple snare guys nothing special i'll just play with it okay i think it's from the same pack uh flex come on it's from the 808 flex yeah nothing different Okay, then I added some more uh, kicks and snare. The only difference is this one I added um, uh, an echo and a reverb, nothing more than that. Ooh, I love that. Fantastic. And uh, that's that. So I had everything coming along. And that was basically the intro verse one bit. Then we have to, uh, and then we go to the pre-chorus. Actually, no, I started working straight after that uh, with um, it's like a bass sample that I sample from uh, one of the samples I I downloaded for from um, Splice. I have no idea which one is it. It's it's, it's one of them samples I, I remember quite well, and it's just basically this. It's just like an 808. I don't know anything about detune and all those beautiful things that uh, my trap producers know how to do. I, I just choose what sounds good to me. Uh, it may not be the best, but that's what sounds good to me. And it's just this, really. So it kind of like 
adds to the to the song, but it's not the carry of it because the main carry is this 808 kick, and it kind of like works all together, you know. And for the pre-chorus, I decided to just scrap all this, and I <laughs> took another sample for the upper loops, and I made an extra snare, which is basically a copy and paste of the same thing, but I just did the same thing. I'll just play it for you guys. Where is it? So if I play the whole song again, just as a reminder of where where we are at the moment, really. there in the right moment you know what i'm saying yeah and uh so at this point i had everything uh the the intro the verse and the pre-chorus then I, st I started working on the because i wanted to add something to the that is building up to the chorus but um i didn't want uh, it to be overwhelming and again i'm not the best in building up so on any of the crazy stuff i'm just someone that enjoys sound the motion of sound to create a story so I just went again to the Apple Loops and I look for um, um, noise. Was it noise? And there's a bunch of them, bunch of them. Then I chose, I think, one of them or both of them. And it just, um, if you guys want to find out which one is it, is the White Noise Riser 01 and the Sturgeon Wave Riser 02. Just look for it and amen. And that's it really. And it just it looks really it, it goes really well with the bit. And there's a cut to it because I wanted the, 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 the bit to kind of like stop but not really. Okay. And I think that is it for the main sections of it. And we, we go straight into the, 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 the chorus. The chorus is the same thing, the same stuff going on. The only things I added to the, for the chorus is uh, just um, a hi-hat um, loop that I found on Splice again. Um, just look for it. It's called Oliver Hi-Hat Drum Loop Live, whatever. Just, just, just use it. And may just play with, for, for you by itself. It kind of like interrupts at some point, but hey. Um, you don't really hear it when everything is going together with you know when the whole bit is playing uh, together and it, it gives like a groove But it was not enough for me. So I kind of like made my own hi-hat not, not nothing special It's just like a one tap 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 and basically I just tap this Very simple just Nothing special, but hey, it, 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 it works very well. Let me just uh, play together. I can actually make a whole song from this uh, hi-hat. I'm feeling inspired, but that story from the time. And uh, it, it kind of went really well with the current beat I wanted to do. I didn't want to make anything complicated. I didn't want to add anything special to it. Um, then I was like, okay, there's something missing, just an extra instrument, not to overwhelm me, but just to add to the beat itself. And I just, uh, went to the magical, um, alchemy seat. I wanted something vocal. So I went through quite a few of them and I decided to go with the deep harmonic waves and, uh, yeah, it sounded really good for me. And, uh, and I choose those notes, um, there. Let's go with it. Yeah, just uh, the same notes repeated and just like an extra uh, note kind of like to slow things down, moving back to the second version of the beat and that's it really uh for, for this for what i'm working on um and you know once you know once everything is laid out together it it sounds pretty good um 
and that's it guys that is the main stuff for the uh, for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to like uh, subscribe and uh, hit me down with a com comment below and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy um, my content and uh, see you guys in the next video bye